Hey yo, and welcome to Gallon's Corner. Welcome to a very special video. Right, we are about to continue my travel series. I'm about to take you on the internet's cheapest all-inclusive holiday. It is an incredible deal, right? So, full disclosure, I wasn't planning to do this. I was planning to go to Botlings for an adult's weekend uh, with my best mate, Big Nige. However, when I started looking at booking it, um, the prices were, it was like 380 quid for a long weekend of Botlings. Um, yet, yeah, food was included in that, but there was no drink included in that. And I love a bargain. It just didn't feel like a bargain at all to me. Uh, so I started casting my eye a little bit further afield, looking at cheap last minute deals, and I found this. Seven days, all inclusive, in Tunisia, for 334 quid. That's amazing. That's way cheaper than bottlings. I'm going on a plane and flying out to Africa. The weather's going to be warmer. I mean, Full disclosure again, I don't know a great deal about off-season Tunisia, but it's got to be warmer than this at the moment. It's like minus three. My nipples are constantly, not erect, but they're, they're uncomfortable. They're chafing all the time. They're like peanuts. Yeah, it's going to be an absolutely brilliant time, I think. And at 334 quid, how can you go bloody wrong? Yeah, I'm very excited. Anyway, um, I'm currently in an Airbnb in Bristol and Big Nige is going to pick me up in the morning. Um, well, I say in the morning, he's going to be picking me up at half past three, uh, which is a little over three hours away. So um, I'm going to turn in for the night, but I will see you again um, in a disturbingly short amount of time, I guess. Good morning to you. Right, I'm whispering because I'm waiting outside for Big Nige to pick me up and it's like quarter to four in the morning. Um, it's really, really cold and I hope he gets here soon, but I'm excited. Right, here we go. I'm at Bristol Airport for the first time. Um, it's going to be a morning at first as well because Big Nige has organised um, access to the escape lounge, it's like an airport lounge where you can have breakfast and stuff. Yeah, strong start so far. Uh, I've somehow managed to spill frothy coffee or wood my jacket, um, but it's not all bad news because I've reached the escape lounge. Here, look at this loving lounge experience. Fresh orange juice, latte, um, and a very nice looking breakfast. The only downside is the, um, the kind of dull sized knife and fork they've given us. I think it's to slow you down so you don't eat too much. Good luck to them in that regard. I'm at the gate, waiting to get on the plane. Right, we've landed, passport control is done. Um, just waiting for bags to come off, the baggage thing. Probably the most difficult bit this I always find, is it's like, oh, I've done it, you know, I've landed, I'm here, I'm in the country, I'm just ready to go. No, I've got to wait for my suitcase, it's been bloody ages so far. Just want to get out there and experience it, see what Tunisia is like. Anyway, I'm finding the toilet so I can have a wee. Here we go, first little glance at Tunisia. Um, I think I could definitely take my coat off now. It's warm enough. Right, let's get on the coach. Right, I am on the coach, waiting outside Tunisia Airport. Um, suddenly, getting up early feels massively worth it because I can see, well, hoping, fingers crossed, that I'm going to get into the resort in time to enjoy the all-inclusive lunch. We're moving, and the guy's just giving us the itinerary as well. We're about the fourth or fifth hotel on the way. Yeah, fourth or fifth hotel, which ain't too bad, really. Could have been worse. Um, let me turn you around and show you a bit too easy. bloody roulette finding out which hotel's yours. I tell you, this lady didn't want to get off at the hotel we're at now. She was not happy with it. It's been a real mixed bag so far. The first place we stopped at, you definitely would want to stay at. The next place looked really, really nice. And this place, well, I think it looks decent, but apparently the lady staying here didn't. <sighs> Look at this place. I was hopeful for a minute that it might be ours. It's not, believe him. It's definitely the nicest one we've seen so far. Another very nice looking place. That's two nice ones in a row. I feel like we're being dropped off next as well. So hopefully good things come in threes, but there's a lot riding on this right now. Right, next hotel does look very nice. I was right, threes, um, but it's not ours. So um, that's by the by, I guess. Right, first sight of the hotel. Coming up, coming up on the right. I think, there it is. Royal Salem. Okay, okay, 
no, it looks decent. It looks decent. I was worried for a second, but actually, that looks relatively decent. Okay, okay, I'm off the coach. There it goes. Will you look at this? This is really nice, especially for the price that I paid. Well, I can't wait to see inside. I, I'm inside the hotel now. It looks amazing. I'm going to give you a proper tour and stuff. Don't worry. Um, they, the rooms aren't ready yet, so they sent us in to get some lunch because they uh, they stopped serving it in about half hour. So I'm going to get some food, show you what I got, um, and then once I've finished here, when they um, give us our room keys and stuff, I'll give you a full tour. But yeah, it looks good. Oh, she blows. That's the buffet. So... I've just had some chips, because I always want to try the chips when I get somewhere. Very bloody good. They're a 7 out of 10. Um, had me a beef burger. Uh, not such a good burger. Probably only a 5 out of 10. Um, also had, well, had a mini pizza as well, which were decent. Just a 6, 7 out of 10 pizza. Um, and then some salad and stuff. I'll, um, I'll do some proper filming when I come in for dinner. Right, I am going to show you my room in a minute. I haven't seen it myself yet. They are... Um, They've given me my card, but I'm just getting a mojito, me and Nigel, before we go and look at the rooms. But I just thought I'd um, come have a little explore. The complex seems to be massive. I'm trying to work out where the sea is. I think it's hidden behind the hotel. But yeah, this is the outside of my hotel. Royal Salem. I'm liking it so far. Buffet was decent. Hopefully the mojito will be decent, and then hopefully the room will be excellent. Right, here we go. First beverage of the holiday. Ooh, that's actually quite decent. Right, finally, I'm in here. This is my room, room 406. Haven't been in yet. I'm going to turn you around so you can experience it in real time at the same time as me. Just kicking my suitcase along. All right. Ooh. Ooh, okay, the door's just open. Let's turn you around so you can see. Insert card for power. I can do that. There we go. Shut the door. Hey up, it's uh, Callum from the future here. Uh, I've got some really bad news. I, at this point, inadvertently fingered the camera and stopped recording. Didn't realise and proceeded to film what I thought was a five minute room tour, which is actually not being recorded. Um, so you don't have the room tour. Um, you'll have to trust me when I tell you the room was lovely, it was bright, it was airy, there was a great big bed in there, king size, and a single bed uh, and a very nice balcony. You will see it throughout the rest of the vlog, uh, but this is my failure and I do take full responsibility for this. I'm sorry. Hey, up. Right, I've, um, I've taken a great big woolen jumper off. I think a hoodie will be more than enough, and I'm hoping, hopeful, um, that a t-shirt will be enough once I'm sitting down by the swimming pool. Anyway, about to head down to Nigel's room, like I said, but I thought I'd have a quick wee before I went. Um, I came back into the bathroom, and I realised there's no toilet in here. Um, now, tell you, you've got the shower, got the sink, then there's nothing. And I'm thinking, well, that's the door. What happens if you open, close the door, you close the door, and another door opens? It's like that saying. It's a self-contained little lavatory, sealed for my pleasure. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I like that. I've always liked having a loo that's separated from the bathroom, just in case. I mean, there's no one staying in my room with me, so it's not going to be an issue, but I just like that security of having an extra room. It's nifty, isn't it? A door that opens and shuts in two doorways. I have never seen that. Right, anyway, let's go see Big Nige. Right, just visiting Nige. His room's practically identical to mine, apart from this. That is to see view. He said it only cost an extra nine quid. I feel a little bit envious now. A little bit of view envy, but still, still. I'm not going to let it get me down. That's a nice view, in it? That is to see there through those palm trees. It's worth nine quid. Right, very happy with the rooms, I've got to say. Um, it's time to go on a little tour of the hotel. I'm going to take you around and have a little look because um, there's several things that I haven't spotted yet. When booking this, I saw there was like, um, well, three, I think, outdoor swimming pools, a couple of water slides, um, and all I've seen so far is the gym and indoor swimming pools. So let's go and explore, and I'll take you with me. Hey, look what we found. Swimming pool number one. Well, actually, swimming pool number two is one inside as well. I'll show you that on the way back, but... Yeah, decent. I did stick my hand in there, though, and it was exceptionally cold, so we'll see how that goes. 
Right, let's look for some more, because apparently there's water slides and stuff. You know how much I love a water slide. Look at this. Bloody lovely grounds, all manicured and stuff, nice little plants. Ooh, cactus. I bloody love cactus. If I was a plant, I'd be cacti. Oh, what else have we got? At least a cafe that we're talking about. Nice little cafe. A little undercover bit. I'm very much looking for the other swimming pools though. Oh, okay. It's like a whole little little section down here. Archways, little bridge leading over, shops. More swimming pools. Bloody amazing. Right, hotel grounds are amazing. That's the plus point. Uh, minus point is that I don't think any of these outdoor swimming pools are open. Um, I've reached the, the water slide bit back there. Um, it's very, very quiet. I don't think anything's going on. Going to investigate, but that will be a blow. That will be a blow. Not... You know, not a mortal blow, because there is an indoor pool and it has got a jacuzzi and stuff, which will be nice, but yeah, it, it will be a blow if the water slides aren't on all week. All right, coming to the end of the hotel grounds here, but I think this is the beach behind this fence, so let's have a little run up to it, experience it together for the first time. What's this beach like? Oh, actually, that's really, really decent. It's got, like, golden sand and stuff. I know it's difficult with the... Uh, the grey sky, it doesn't really make you feel beachy, but I think if that sky was blue, um, that would be bloody lovely. You can see even in the water there with it grey, there's like different colours to it and stuff. There you go, indoor pool. If you wonder what a Tunisian bank looks like, this is it. So, they did not like me filming in the bank, um, being kicked out of there now, but we did manage to change money, which is good. Um, now, strolling up, I don't really know the name of where we are, I think it's Suez. Suisse. I don't know, but we're struggling up to find some shops, have a little look in the shops, get a few bits. Suisse, Suisse, that's where we are. Suisse in Tunisia. Um, yeah, struggling up to find a few shops. Hello, little guy. Nope, he wants nothing to do with us, does he? He's running past. I might, I'm sure we'll find more. Oh, here we go. Little Looks bit, a bit familiar. Little Ben. Little Ben. Shopping centre. Having a lot more success with our second cat. This one seems to like me a lot more. Yeah. Good little cat. Oh, no. Take him a sink now. Okay. I'm just back in my hotel room. Pop back because I want to grab my swimming trunks. Going to head down to the indoor pool and check that out. A um, couple of things have happened since I've got back. Number one, um, I have had an exceptional bowel movement. And I know that everyone's interested in hearing about this, but couldn't go this morning. It was too bloody early when I left Bristol. Um, so I've been, you know, holding on to it, so to speak, so far. Um, and also, I had a bloody takeaway last night that was... Um, I had a massive amount of meat, basically. It was called, from a place called Low and Slow. But beef ends, lovely bit of beef brisket, pulled pork and stuff. It was a couple of pounds of solid meat. And um, yeah, that's just been sitting in my belly. So that was awesome. Probably my best bowel movement of the year so far. And I know it's only January, you know, hasn't been 2024 for long. But yeah, that was bloody brilliant. Um, also, also, in a lovely little personal touch... Um, come back and I found this little fruit basket. Well, not a basket because it's not actually a basket, it's a plate. But, um, what do you call that? Fruit platter? Platter? Yeah, I think that's a good way of describing it. I mean, none of it's like exotic fruit, you know what I mean? It's oranges, apples, and some big grapes. It's not like mangoes and pineapple and kumquats and, you know, posh fruit. But it's still a lovely bloody touch, isn't it? Um, I went to Morocco last year and I, it reminds me a lot of that. It's all these little personal touches, you know, people dropping fruit off to you, people, just everyone in the hotel complex is saying hello, do you know what I mean? You walk past them, all the staff are like, hello, hello, hello. It's just, yeah, I just love it. It's friendly, it's nice. I really like Africa. It's an ideal holiday destination. Um, and there it is behind me. I mean, visually, it's not as stolen as Marrakesh, I have to be honest. Tunisia is nice, but... Marrakesh was incredible to look at, the hotel was amazing, but still, it's warm, it's bloody cheap, it's all-inclusive, uh, and it's got absolutely everything that you could want. 
Yeah, I think it's going to be a bloody brilliant week. Oh, that was an exceptional swim. That is a really, really nice swimming pool, especially for an indoor one. It was, um, it was clean. It was warm, um, and most importantly of all for me, at the Holy Trilogy, it was deep as well. It had a proper deep end. You know, sometimes you go on holidays and it's like just all equal depth, or there's like a tiny little token gesture at a deep end. No, it was off, up to my mouth, you know. Um, proper, proper deep in the deep end. Loved it. Sadly, I couldn't do any GoPro filming on the water in there. It was too busy at first, uh, and then when it quieted down, I realised I'd left my GoPro up in my bedroom in my hotel room and it's um, pool's closing now but tomorrow we will definitely go pro in the pool um, just out here now waiting for Big Nice to finish getting changed and um, then it's up for dinner yeah it's been a great first day really really good like so often when you go on holiday you get in somewhere and it's really really late you have time for a bit of grub or maybe a drink or something then you go to sleep you know you gotta go to bed so you don't waste the next day you're not all tired lovely to get here really early and have a proper day of it and exploring stuff yeah very very good so far right i was a little bit premature on the dinner shout they don't actually start serving for another 20 minutes so popped out to um to have a beer before we go in for dinner um but i've noticed that this fountain uh, has actually become cat central i don't know whether you can make it out there's one little ginger guy just sitting there hey up cat uh, two more over there um, no, the others are gone now. Like, there's another one hiding. Oh, you can make him out just over there. Uh, but there was like seven of them here a minute ago. Uh, I've made friends with this little ginger one now while I'm waiting for Big Nige to change out of his shorts. Um, yeah, this one really, really seems to like me. You never know with these like feral cats whether they'll be friendly or not. But this one definitely seems to be. In fact, most of them here do seem to be. Right, the buffet's finally open. Let me turn you around and show you what I'm going to get. Look at the choice, fresh olives, pickles, some kind of salad, chilies. they are. Oh, caper. Caper? That's all I've said it like I know it. Oh, caper. I've had that many times. I've got no idea what it is, to be fair. Lovely, lovely salad. Oh, wow. Potato. Mixed meat stew. Mixed meat stew. Oh. That is tempting. What's this round here? Onion tart. Right, I'm going to dig in. Um, I've given you a little overview. It's time for me to dig in now. I'm not sure if I've just drunk too much or whether this is actually happening. Go on, lads. Smash it. Come on. Oh, yes. Hey, oh. Right, the first day is coming to a close. What a first day it's been so far. Um, I don't feel like I've filmed that much so far because it's all been so exciting, but I'm very excited about what lays ahead of us. Um, yeah, it's just bloody brilliant. Number one, um, I've got my mate here, one of my best mates, and it's just so much more fun having my mate here, someone to, to chat to and to not to have to sit alone in the restaurants and stuff. It's just taking away all of the stress and fears and stuff that I normally get when I come away alone. It's bloody brilliant. Um, my hotel room, I absolutely love that. It totally reminds me of my India hotel rooms. It's laid out in exactly the same way with the luggage rack and stuff and the bathroom there. Um, and the scenery as well outside the windows. It really reminds me of when I went to Morocco, uh, which is a massive plus point. Um, also, really like the Tunisians. They're lovely, especially the Tunisian women. They are really nice and... Um, very bloody attractive, although that does remind me of how long it's been since I've had Boom Boom. So that's not really one for the plus column, but I guess it's something that I do need to acknowledge and absolutely work on fixing. But yeah, it's brilliant. I'm loving it.
Good morning to you. Right, I've woken up and day 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 early. I get up early every morning for work, so um, I'm kind of in that habit. Anyway, I've been lying in bed uh, as long as I can kind of cope with it, trying to get back to sleep, but it's not happening, so I'm up now. Um, it's just gone 8 o'clock and I've opened my curtains uh, and it looks lovely out there. Uh, it was very, very grey yesterday. I could barely see the sea. There was no horizon. Uh, all of that has come back today. Although it's still a tiny bit grey, but I mean, it's bloody January, isn't it? It's mental to think that. I'll be happy with this weather in bloody May in England. Yeah, lovely. Right, I'm just waiting for a message from Big Knives to say he's awake. Uh, and then we'll head down for breakfast and I can show you the breakfast selection. Yeah, it's going to be a good day. I, I am dressed and ready for the day. Um, I'm still waiting on big nights to come down and give me a knock for breakfast. But rather than kind of stay in my room and wait, I think I'm going to go out and have a look around the hotel. Um, I always think morning time in a hotel is such a good indicator. You get to see what the whole atmosphere is like. Um, I just like it. It's just nice to go and have a look, isn't it? The early morning routines and stuff. So let's go and do that. Let's have a little explore, a little look round. And um, once Big Night is ready, we'll have some breakfast. Right, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. The hotel at morning time. People down at the desk, cleaners doing their job. It's just a whole different atmosphere, isn't it? Very nice. Doesn't it look lovely in the mornings? All relaxed, all quiet, all refreshed. Very nice, very bloody nice. I'm liking the hotel a lot, actually. Really like those glass lifts and get to come up and down in, looking at everything. People taking taking a video in there like I was. Come on. Air hockey cannot be beaten. A bit of pool. And obviously there's the outside. Well. The front of it. Let's go and have a look out the back. Here we go. The back garden. Check this out. It's so much sunnier and nicer today. It feels like proper, proper like spring weather would be in England. I think I might even try the outdoor swimming pool as well later. Did put my foot in it yesterday and it was absolutely freezing. I think they're probably not hate it because normally it's so hot out here. Um, but it's a really nice swimming pool, isn't it? And it's always empty as well. So definitely see myself getting in there. Oh, there's loads of people in the indoor pool already as well. Don't blame them, it's bloody lovely. Yeah. Nice, nice. Talking to Nines last night, and we were talking about maybe trying to get in the med today. Never actually swam in the Mediterranean, and I think it might just about still be warm enough. we go check it out. Look at that. Look, fresh oranges and stuff on the floor. Super nice. I, I really need some breakfast now. I'm going to go and have some. I've waited for big nights, but he must have slept in this morning. He's normally an early bird like me, but he can grab breakfast later. A lot of Germans here. It's really deceiving as well because you look at them and you think they're English. You think you just say hello normally to them and then suddenly they're German. Anyway, I'm heading into the breakfast buffet. I love a breakfast buffet. I think um, breakfast time is when a buffet comes into its own really, isn't it, in my opinion. Anyway, let's head in. Look at that fresh juice station. Bloody amazing. Oh, hot food. You know what kind of sausages they are? They're not going to be pork, are they? Um, oh, it's an egg station. Right, let's get some coffee and stuff. That's what I need at the moment. Oh, donuts. Right, coffee and stuff. Coffee and stuff. And then a simple scrambled egg and stuff to start if they've got it, I think. Right, this is how I'm starting my breakfast. I will go on and have some toast and maybe some other bits, explore a bit, but it's um, a kind of full English breakfast. We've gone scrambled egg, um, baked beans, but not quite as I know it. They look like canelli beans, slightly larger, and some lovely fried potatoes. Frothy coffee, you know, can't go wrong when it's a coffee of the frothy variety. Uh, and also a juice, which um, I'll be honest, is a lot more like squash than it is orange juice. But yeah, bloody lovely. I've met up with Big Nines now, and he's eating the turkey sausages. Right, it's been a decent morning so far. Um, good breakfast, 
copious amount for frothy coffee, all consumed. Nice little stroll around the hotel, but it is now time for us to have our first swim together. Um, I'm in what's become my favourite part of the hotel, the indoor swimming pool. I'm going to switch over to my GoPro and let's get in. Right, are you ready for this? This has become my favourite part of the travel vlogs and the jump in the swimming pool. Um, I am going to jump in today. Previously in these uh, pool entrance videos, it's been very much me kind of tentatively getting in. Um, this is a very warm swimming pool. There's no tentativity needed. You ready? One, two, three. Sun launch, look at this, that is amazing. Tunisian stew. I'm going to get involved in some of that, I think. Ah, just enjoy a very nice beer out in the sun. What a pleasant afternoon. That was a very nice little knockabout at table tennis. I haven't played table tennis for about 20 years. I've forgotten how much fun it is. Um, the, the guy that Nigel was playing, the rep, was just telling us, actually, that down at the beach they're doing some kind of ball games. He said it was French, so I'm guessing it's that, um, it's that one where you, like, chock it and it falls down. Platonk, is it? Platonk? I don't know the name of it, but apparently they're playing with balls down at the beach, so let's go and check it out. Here we go, here we go. Right, it's actual bowls, I think, rather than Platonk. Uh, proper, proper bowls. No, Oh, it is Platonk. Okay, it is Platonk. Throw them. Throw them up. Like someone just tried to sell me cigarettes on the beach as I was coming off. Um, by the sounds of it, they are still heavily involved in their game over there. So let's explore the little water park section. I know it's not open, but it's nice to have a look round, isn't it? Um, I'll turn you around in the camera, actually, so you can see what I'm seeing. Here you go, look at this. Bloody look at this. Incredible. Lovely swimming pool. You can swim underneath an archway. I love swimming underneath stuff. Absolutely love it. It's like a little river, isn't it? Well, it sounds like water might be running. Surely not the slides. Surely the slides aren't on. I would literally pee my pants with excitement if the slides are on. Nah, they're not. They're not. Still, looks bloody awesome, doesn't it? Imagine this in peak season. Proper hot, proper sunny. Water slides going. Yeah, very nice. Don't think that the pool's open, to be fair. I've not seen anyone in the outside pools. Maybe that's an English thing. You know what I mean? It's still warm enough to swim, so I'm going to swim. To them, I guess this is proper winter. That's well nice, though. That would be so much fun, wouldn't it? Look, she's got a bloody coat on. It's nearly 20 degrees. You don't need a coat. Hey, look at that. Three of them. Three glorious slides. Yeah, it very much looks shot down though, doesn't it, this bit? Twelve persons maximum. Let's sneak through here. Nice. Very nice. Showers. It's bloody awesome. Right, here we go. For England. <laughs> Nice. All the glory, nice. All the glory. None of the black. Ooh, that's good. It's not good enough to beat me, though. Oh, way up. Long John Silver. Here comes Big Nige. Here comes Big Nige. Playing for the French today. Dual nationality. Oh, that's very good. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I'm being trash talked in French here. I bloody love this game, it's well good fun. Right, Patonk was absolutely amazing. We smashed them, the black team won. Um, 
I don't know how many we won by, but at one point we were like nine games off. So yeah, it was it was a proper wing round late. Uh, just heading into this swimming pool again now. Gonna have a steam room and a sauna. Woke up a bit of a hunger for dinner. Oh, it's been amazing, absolutely amazing. But interesting observation. Uh, my phone will no longer unlock uh, using my thumbprint. I think it's because it's gone too pruney. Um, yeah, modern problems, eh? First world problems. Too pruney to unlock my phone. Right, I've actually remembered to show you my dinner before I eat it tonight. Although I'm going to have to go very quickly because I've been swimming all day and I've got quite a hunger. Uh, let me turn it. Look at this. So this is the chicken. That's the cheese souffle. I've got a load of roasted can of potatoes there. Mixed meat stew. Uh, not quite sure what all the meats are. Me and Nigel are talking about this. I think there's definitely some beef in there. Um, but there's definitely something else and God knows what it is. Right, a very satisfactory meal has been consumed. Um, it always came up my way, to be honest with you, often with uh, the chicken on the bone. You just don't know how much chicken you're going to get once you get it back to your table. It looks like a great big lump, but then it's all bone and gristle. But that were good. Um, the beef were good. Um, the potatoes were good. It was all just good. Right, currently working our way through the cocktail menu. Made it the mission to try each one. Um, and very much enjoy the African Copper Nations. In about five minutes' time, Tunisia are going to be playing Mali. Um, yeah, really excited. African Copper Nations in Africa. Oh my God, this is absolutely incredible. So I'm sitting there watching the football and suddenly this entertainment starts. Uh, I'm going to turn you around and show you it, but it's incredible. Like a bloke has got his face in the bed of nails. i got to show you. into the sword which is being pushed into him by another guy this guy's rock bloody solid isn't he you take a run off mate take a run off and just smash it Oh my god, the sword is bending, his stomach is so hard. Here's the cocktail menu we've been working our way through. Uh, this is that. That is the final one here. Uh, it's being made now. Hey, oh, right, I'm back in my room now and I thought I'd do you a little debrief before I go to bed because it has been an absolutely brilliant day it just it couldn't have been better you know I woke up and I had a buffet breakfast which is such a good start to the day I then spent all morning in the swimming pool um, and then had a buffet lunch after that, down to the beach for a bit of patonk, which was so enjoyable. And then for the rest of the afternoon, back to the swimming pool. You know, I swam and then I had a steam room. I swam again um, and then I had a sauna and then I swam again. You know, you couldn't write a better day than that, could you? And then lovely buffet dinner. And after that, watching the Africa Copper Nations, bit of football, lovely bloody job. Um, and me and Big Night have tried every cocktail on the menu. All of them were delicious, um, apart from the pina colada, which was more than delicious. I had four of them, just really, really enjoyable. I am noticing, though, actually, something I should talk about is that I think I might be immune to alcohol now. You know, I've had a fair few cocktails, and I just don't feel like they're affecting me at all. Maybe my tolerance has gone up after my cruise. I had a few JD and Cokes on that and stuff, but... Yeah, I don't think like, alcohol affects me anymore. I don't feel drunk in the slightest, but they were still delicious. 
Um, yeah, just really, really good. And um, you know it's been a good day when you start questioning yourself. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, I had a really nice conversation with a German bloke called Frank. I probably put some in the vlog, you know, because I'm filming and stuff. Um, and this afternoon down at the beach, like Petonk and stuff with the French people, I went off and filmed before, you know, mocking the French, you know, so they don't even speak properly. It's just noises and all they are and stuff. And then I went and played Petonk with them and they were just an absolute delight. So friendly and supportive and stuff. And now I'm questioning everything, you know. You grow up and you think some things are certainties. You think you're on solid ground. The Germans, twats, the French, arseholes. But now I'm thinking, am I the arsehole? Is it wrong that I base my whole opinions on a, an entire nation based on a year seven French exchange trip that I had? Maybe that's not the best idea. Maybe I need to experience more. Maybe I need to go to France. Words I never thought I'd say, but yeah, they were so friendly. And Frank, the German guy, absolute delight. Maybe I need to go to Germany. Maybe everything I, I thought I knew isn't true. That's a scary thought, isn't it? Yeah, really, really good day. The French people were lovely. The German people were lovely. The buffets were bloody brilliant. And the swimming, oh my God. God, it was just magnificent. It's the only way to describe it, magnificent. All right, I'm going to turn in for the evening, but yeah, it's just been a brilliant day. And I tell you what, you know what makes it even better? Um, I only paid 334 quid for this. Just brilliant. I'm going to sleep the sleep of the joss tonight. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. That good morning to you all. Um, I'm feeling a little bit rough today. I think I've got a cold or something. I feel a bit stuffy and sore throaty, but it's nothing major and I can definitely soldier on. Um, so it is nearly nine o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm just waiting for Big Nice to give me a knock so we can go down for breakfast. Um, I've already been down there once just to grab myself a cup of coffee. Met some of the people I played Patonk with yesterday, the French people. Absolute pleasure, like... It's messing with my head now, how nice they're all being. Um, yeah, I was I was kind of questioning myself last night with the French and the German and stuff. And I'm thinking, maybe I need to start reconsidering stuff. Do you know what I mean? Stuff that I thought was fact might actually not be. It's interesting. It's interesting. And it does mess with your head slightly. But you've got to be open to changing your opinions. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're not living if you're not open to changing your opinions. Anyway, today looks much like yesterday. Um, pretty bright, um, not hot, but nice enough to be here in my t-shirt and not worries. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be a decent day. So hopefully, Nigel gives us a knock soon. We'll go have some breakfast and then we'll um, decide what we're going to do today. We're thinking about maybe heading to the, um, the sea and having a swim in there. Or possibly maybe heading to the markets up in the town. Little baked beans. They have these in Morocco. I'm going to show you them because they are absolutely delicious. You think about bean, like how could it get better? You know, it's one of the most perfect pieces of food out there. But actually, a little bit of spice really does improve it. Um, yeah, these are them that I'm talking about. So they're like baked beans, but they've got some curry powder or something in and some, um, you know, some bay leaf. Absolutely delicious. Have those with some fried potatoes, some scrambled egg. Yeah, what a way to start the day. A delectable spicy bean bags breakfast has been consumed. Um, Big Nige hasn't woken up yet, uh, but I've just got back to my room and seen that they've kind of turned it over. Uh, and this is what was waiting for me today, a swan on my bed. Isn't that awesome? It's those little touches, isn't it? Coming back to a lovely clean room, having a little kind of crafted swan on the end of your bed. Just makes it a bit special. Hey, y'all. Right, I am back in my room briefly after a, a like a really pleasant morning. Post breakfast, went for a swim, sauna, jacuzzi, swim again, even popped into the gym for a little bit. I haven't been to the gym for bloody years. It was lovely. Um, and then, obviously, copious amounts of more swimming. It was just bloody brilliant. Um, I tell you what, actually, Joel Rogan is absolutely right about the benefit of saunas, I think. I've seen him speak about them loads. And, um, yeah, I just feel really, really good afterwards. I feel like it's um, proving my complexion a little bit as well. 
Although, let's be honest, it's a token gesture at best, isn't it, when this is what you're dealing with. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, back in the room briefly to drop my swimming stuff off, let it hang up and dry. Uh, and then me and Big Nigel are going to go down and have some lunch. And this afternoon, uh, we want to get out of the hotel complex. Now, the plan was uh, to go down to the beach and maybe have a swim or something, but... I don't think the weather's nice enough. It's gone all grey and windy and chilly again. So uh, we'll head down the beach, walk down there. And then I think we're going to try and um, well, kind of see what's down there. Apparently there might be quad bikes and stuff. Uh, I bloody love to go on a quad bike. Let's do this. Let's have some lunch. Um, I have changed into a shirt just because of the weather outside. I feel like it's going to be quite chilly walking along the beach and stuff. So um gone against my kind of my natural instincts and popped the shirt on. Although it is very creased and the ends of the collar keep flicking up and stuff, which makes me look like a twat. But it's my own fault. I haven't hung stuff up since I got here. I don't don't really care about it, to be honest. Well, obviously, I do care because I'm talking about it, but not enough to, to actually hang stuff up. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this. I'm so, so hungry. I love there is... It's one of the best feelings in the world. I won't say there's no better feeling, because obviously there's boom boom and stuff. But um, the feeling of being so hungry and then just filling your belly, you know what I mean? Like you feel your strength cursing back into you and stuff. Yeah, I just bloody love it. I love it here as well. Tunisia is so nice. Um, yeah, just a brilliant bloody morning. Even, actually, even, I've been exploring the Reddit. I've had a subreddit for years and I've never known how to use it and stuff. But just sitting down there by the pool, looking through it and stuff, it's, it's been really good fun. I actually feel like I'm kind of missing the community a little bit, missing the corner a bit. Um, and that's a, that's a feeling I haven't had for ages, you know what I mean? Absence, I think, makes the heart grow fonder. For so many years, I was just sitting there not really uploading because I was worried that it doxed me more and it just felt like a, a huge pressure on me you know what I mean I was reduced to just just streaming every night and nothing else and it was years of that um it's been so good to have a break it's making me yeah, it's making me miss you guys and stuff like learning how to use reddit and catch up with you it's bloody brilliant All right let's go and have some lunch and um then it's time for some exploration I, I totally forgot to show you my food before I dived in. So I've gone for some nice griddled vegetables. Mash. Mash is lovely. Mash will make you big and strong. Um, as well, chicken. Chicken on the bone is also bloody lovely. Yeah, absolutely reviving me right now. Right, just realised I haven't shown you any of the desserts I've been having. So let me turn you around and give you a little peek because they are absolutely gorgeous. Here, look at this. Chocolatey, knotty mousse number. Uh, that is lemonade ice cream, which I'm loving. Um, this is like a, a kiwi mousse with a little bit of kiwi in it, nice bit of pastry. Uh, and these are my absolute favourites. So there's some really nice kind of sweetened pastry. Lovely little dab of sweet cream underneath and then some fresh fruit. Absolutely lovely. Look at this bloody elephant. So, do they have elephants in Tunisia? I don't even know. Impressive though. So yeah, we're strolling up now. Um, I'm not even sure where we're going towards, do you know? No. No. We're just strolling around Tunisia, going up into what hopefully will be the town area. <laughs> see what we see. Just had the first kind of experience with the Lukey Loo people on the street. The um, oldest trick in the bookies came up and he's like, Oh, hello mate, you don't recognise me, do you? I work in your hotel. Uh, he then proceeded to try and sell us cocaine and marijuana, uh, which, I mean, you know me, I don't mind having a little puff on the wacky backy, but. I'm not going to try that in Tunisia, do you know what I mean? Not fancy spending the next 10 years of my life in a bloody Tunisian prison. Uh, we've been walking for bloody miles now and there is absolutely no sign of this um, Medina or whatever it's called, shopping centre, marketplace. Um, so we're heading down to the beach to walk back along that. Hopefully we'll find something down there. The guy yesterday was saying that you can book the quad bikes and stuff down there. So, yeah, let's hope, yeah. Okay, on the beach now, it's... Um, Pretty windy, pretty cold, but here we are. Let's see what we can find. Right, so we're just enjoying our nice little stroll on the Tunisian beach. Um, they do seem to love leaving bottles of pee on the beach. It's like the fifth one we've seen now. Um, there's also just a little stray dog there. Here we go, there's another one. He looks like a good boy as well. He's got a wagging tail. Hello, mate. Hey, up. Who get this? Oh, and another one. They're bloody everywhere. Hello. You alright? He's a good boy. 
Hello. Oh, he's a bit scared, isn't he? He's a bit scared. That's sad to see with a dog's like that. Hates it. They should be friendly creatures, you know what I mean? They love humans. Hello, mate. Oh, good boy. Yeah. You're a good boy, aren't you? You just want food. I wish I had something on me. I'll come back tomorrow. I'll bring some of the hotel food and I'll give it you. You'll love it, mate. Yeah, you'll love it. Still just enjoying our pleasant stroll along the beach. Um, does anyone know what these are? Finding them everywhere. Our little balls are kind of puffy stuff. Anyone got any idea? I don't. Anyway, I'm going to volley it. Boom! Watch it. There it goes. I don't know whether you can see behind me, but um, security's no joke here. Look at that, proper sharp. Right, back at the hotel now after a very breezy walk down at the beach. Um, just enjoying another pina colada and watching the African Copper Nations. Almost time for dinner. Right, I'm just heading back up to my room quickly to see if I've got some change up there for the pool table. Um, very much enjoying my pina colada, that's lovely. I do have a question for all you guys though, who might be a bit more experienced in these matters than me. Um, do African men find overweight English women attractive? Is that like a thing? Because um, there's a lot of guys out here who seem to, um, seem to have very overweight English girlfriends. I don't know what it's all about, but it's happening so many times, it can't just be a coincidence. Yeah, couldn't find any change up in my room for the pool table, that will have to wait. Um, got my second pina colada of the evening, I'm really enjoying these pina coladas. Um, I am getting slightly jittery though now, we're about 10 minutes away from buffet opening. You can feel the, the whole atmosphere in here change when we get that close. Everyone's looking over there, wanting to be first in and stuff. I'm not bothered about being first in. Um, but I do want it to open because I'm bloody hungry. Alright, let me show you what I got tonight. Sauteed beef, mash, bloody love mash, uh, some courgettes and some carrots. This will be plate number one. I'll show you what I get for my seconds. I'm back in my room. I'm going to grab a jumper because it's actually quite chilly tonight, which um, I really wasn't expecting. Anyway, dinner was absolutely awesome. The beef and the mash, the vegetables were absolutely divine. Uh, in terms of a second plate, which... I realised I didn't show you and I was meant to. Uh, I just had a few chips and some quiche and a bit of a uh, salad. Um, and then, what did I have for dessert? Just another one of those little cream cakes. Bloody lovely. Right, I'm going to get a job for one and I'm going back down to meet up with Big Nige, have a few more cocktails and, yeah, see what happens this evening. Oh, that, that's the other thing I was going to say. Uh, in my lift, on the way up in the lift, um, there's an elderly German man in there. And again, he was so, so friendly. Yeah, I'm struggling with this a little bit. It's making me question everything I thought I knew. You know, the French, the Germans, they're just being really, really nice. Maybe I'm the arsehole. I don't know. I don't like it. But you've got, you know, if the evidence is there, you've got to question it. I'm going to have to go over, I think, and, you know, visit France, maybe Germany. All right, I'm going to have a pee now. I'll see you back downstairs. Here you go. Thought I'd give you a tiny taster of tonight's entertainment. Uh, this is all coming from that one little Tunisia block there. Awesome. Hey, it's all kicking off tonight. Look at this. Free from desire. My love sense intensifies. Free from desire. My love sense intensifies. Go on, little Tunisia block. Hey, yo. Ooh. Hey, yo. Let me just stick my, um, my pina colada down there. Um, absolutely strange occurrence. I don't know whether you remember last night. It, it was like the pina coladas weren't affecting me. I was, um, I was immune to the alcohol. Tonight, it's a very different story, but I'm not complaining about it because it's been a brilliant bloody day. The, um, just everything about it I've bloody loved, uh, the pool, the swimming, the food, and this evening has just been great. Absolutely riveting conversation. Um, big shout out to Mike, guy from England. He's about 60, but he knows exactly what's going on. Me and him were sitting there all evening, just putting the world to rights. Um, yeah, I don't think that I could actually be happier right now. Well, maybe if I was having some bloody boom boom, but... Apart from that, it's it's been a really satisfying evening. It's been a really 
good holiday so far. Maybe my favourite one so far. Yeah, Tunisia. I bloody love you. Right, good morning to you. Um, I'm not feeling particularly tickety boo this morning. Um, the cold that's been developing over the last couple of days is definitely in my nose. I feel all stuffy. Um, and I've really, really got a headache. I think I might have a bit of a hangover. It's been years since I had a hangover. Last time was when I did that alcohol, drinking nothing but alcohol challenge a couple of years back. Yeah, I haven't missed it. I haven't missed it. Um, I think I'm a bit dehydrated as well. Um, woke up in the middle of the night, dead, dead thirsty. It always happens if I have a drink. Um, and I downed the bottle of water I had up here, um, but it just wasn't enough. I ended up drinking from the taps in the bathroom. And I, I tried to avoid that when I'm away. I tried to stick to bottled water just in case. I don't, I don't know what the water's like out here, but hopefully I don't get stomach bug or something from it. Anyway, I really, really need water. I really, really need coffee. Um, so let's go down to the breakfast bit. I don't think Nigel will be down there yet. I'm not sure what we're going to do today yet. Um, yeah, I just want to get some food and some coffee and some water. So let's go do it. Right, I totally forgot to record before I ate. To be honest with you, I was just concentrating on getting it down me and keeping it down. But it's done its job. The reviving powers of a breakfast. Lovely bit of potato, spicy beans, egg. Uh, and try it one of these turkey sausages. Didn't go well, as you can see. Um, that's been a game changer, though. Four cups of coffee, couple of cups of juice. I feel myself coming back to life. The only thing that could have made it better is the uh, bacon. Bacon always sorts you out. I am missing that. Right, um, breakfast, coffee, all of that has massively revived me. I'm feeling a lot more with it, a lot more alert. Um, although I've still got the headache. But it's receding. It's going to be fine. Uh, so, Big Night has finished breakfast. We're going to go meet down in the lobby. Um, and we're going to head out into the town. He wants to um, wants to check out a dentist. Apparently you can get your teeth cleaned there for like half the price you can back in England. So... May as well take advantage of that. Uh, and then it's going to be a another steam room, I'm reckoning. Steam room, sauna, swim. Um, and I'm thinking this afternoon, I wouldn't mind playing a bit of that Patonk again. That was well good fun the other day. Yeah, loads of possibilities. Um, we'll see what happens. Here we go, strolling around again. Picked up some company again. Uh, declined the offer, the very kind offer of buying some hashes. I just don't fancy spending the next 10 years in a Tunisian prison. Um, but yeah, nice to have some local company. Right, Nigel's nice had his teeth cleaned. Back at the hotel now. I'm gonna head in for a bit of sweet. Right, I've had a steam room, I've had a swim, I've worked up an appetite. It's time to make that pay. It's buffet time. Here we go, here we go. Lovely lump of sauteed chicken. Uh, some nice vegetables. And then to accompany with it, I've gone for something a bit different. They did have mash, but these were, um, they were marked up as sanded potatoes, which I've never even heard of before. So I'm going to give them a try. Um, obviously, I'll eat all this and then we go load up again. But yeah, I'm very bloody hungry. I loved that chicken. Um, for my second plate, I'm going to go for something a little bit more simple, a little bit more English style. Because I'm aware that some of you, you won't want to be eating kind of meat on the bone and stuff. So, um, well, you should. It's so much tastier. But let me go grab some chips and some English bits and show you what you can get if you're not a fan of this kind of stuff. Here you go. I've just gone for a little plate because that chicken was proper filling. But look at this. If you are, you know, a little bit fussy and you like your English food, you can have nuggets, you can have chips, you can have some garlic bread. They've even got pizzas and stuff. All right, so there's absolutely nothing going on down in the rest of the grounds. Thought there'd be some patonk or something like the other day, but it was a bit deserted. Um, come back to the hotel to try and find out how to, just to get something booked for tomorrow. Really, really want to go on the quad bike. So, uh, just speaking, been speaking to a guy in reception who's going to try and sort it out for us. A little bit of quad bike gauge. That's me doing the accelerator. I'm not doing some kind of weird wanking thing. I wasn't actually trying to record you, but that's quite a cool shot, isn't it? Right up above, where's my camp? There you are. Yeah, look at that. Right, back on the Patong. Loving this. Yeah, that's my Very good, very good, mate.
Hey, you're right. I've had a very, very good fun afternoon. I'm loving this whole patonk thing. It's so much bloody fun. It's got a real kind of little competitive edge to it that appeals to me. And um, I do seem to have a little bit of a natural talent for it. I won a fair few points for the silver tea. A lovely bloody swim. Um, it's woken me up a bit. I feel a bit more with it now. But it was absolutely magical just slipping and sliding through that water. I felt like a bloody dolphin. Um, just heading back to my room now. I'm going to purge my head of hair, I think, uh, before dinner. It's just starting to get a little bit long. Um, so, yeah, a bit of hair purging and then down for dinner. Wow, that beef was superb. Right, I've moved on to my pudding tonight. That one main course was actually enough for me. Um, I've gone for what looks like some kind of chocolate mousse with, um, it's like peanut crackle in there or something, I don't know. Uh, it looks crunchy though, and it looks nice. Um, gone for a little kiwi tartlet, nice bit of cream underneath there. And I'm not quite sure what this is, some kind of knotty little wall. Um, I'll let you know what it's like after I've tasted it. Right, I've just cracked open my knotty little ball. Look at that, there's some kind of cake in there. Let's do a proper taste test here. Hold on, let me turn you around. Here we go, knotty little ball. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Here we go. Here's my new friend. Tiny little one. And basically, the Pally Piper are cats nowadays. It's mental how much this has changed. Cute little kitten one. Got a bit of a situation brewing here. My new little friend, this tiny one, is now slightly under attack by what was my favourite cat for a little while here. Um, I'm just trying to referee it slightly. We don't want any violence, lads. He's totally in attack mode now, isn't he? Oh, don't make those weird noises. Come on. Leave him alone. He's only a little guy. It's okay. It's okay. I've got your back, mate. I've got your back. There'll be no bully in here. There'll be no bully in here. Here he is. He's hiding here under the table. You're all right, lad. You're under my protection now. All right. I have just been to the bathroom. Just a public toilet through there. And there is a man who went in there, like, incredibly noisily, incredibly stinky. Like, that's selfish in my eyes. You've got a toilet up in your bedroom. Why are you doing the communal ones? If it's a biological evacuation, take it up to your bloody bedroom. Don't make all of us suffer through it, sniff it, taste it and stuff. It's selfish. Good morning, it's quad bike day. Um, weather today looks much better than yesterday. It's quite bright actually, it's difficult to deal with because I've just woken up. But um, yeah, looks much better, so that's going to be good for the quad biking, isn't it? Um, right, being picked up at half past 11, so I've woken up a bit earlier today. Um, I'm going to go down, have an early breakfast, and um, if I've got time, I'd like to have a quick swim before we go. Yeah, let's get moving. I'm actually going for breakfast now. That was a slightly false start because I got to the door and I heard the housekeeping lady out in the hallway um, and I suddenly realised I wanted to give my room a tidy before she came in here. I know that slightly defeats the object, the purpose of having housekeeping come in and tidy your room, but I cannot be the only one who does that. You know, if you know someone's going to come in and tidy, you want to tidy up before they do it. It, it probably doesn't make sense to anyone else, but yeah, I've tidied my room now. Let's go and eat. I'm back in my freshly cleaned hotel room now after um, a small confrontation with a French couple who have um, absolutely restored my previous views on the people of France. They basically just tried to walk me off of the pathway in the garden. Like, walking to a breast, it's not big enough for that because other people need to walk the other way. They just walk straight at me, you know, hearty hawing at each other and just expect me to step off. It's like, what the hell? Go single file and make room for everyone. Yeah, I really don't know where I am with the French, but what can you bloody do? Anyway, I've had my breakfast, my standard breakfast, you know, scrambled egg, fried potatoes, spicy baked beans, and um, obviously copious amounts of some frothy coffee and fruit juice. Uh, and I feel revitalised and reinvigorated for the day. Um, what a day it's going to be as well, eh, with the old uh, quad bikeage. It's me giving it the old grip it and rip it on the throttle there. Um, yeah, I'm well excited. I've wanted to go on quad bikes for ages. Should be dead good fun. Here we go. We're here. It's about to happen. Um, they are giving out hair nets, I think. Oh, kind of a token gesture, isn't it, in my case? But there you go. 
There we go, fully protected. Can't get away from the feeling that I do look a little bit like a penis in a condom, but safety first, I guess. Here we bloody go, here we go. tell you the only thing better than a morning of fun on quad bikes is a morning of fun on quad bikes followed by some mashing meat. Lovely. I just had a few games of pool. Um, big nice did smash my back doors and he's much better than me at pool but it was well good fun. It's been years since I've played. Really enjoyed it. Um, now I've got 25 minutes till the buffet opens and I literally cannot wait. It's mental how quick you get like institutionalized, you know, as it gets within half an hour of the buffet open, it's like my stomach knows it just wants more massive plates of meat and mash and stuff. Yeah, these last 25 minutes are gonna, gonna go slow and I'm dreading going back to normal life. Hey, look at this, we've got some flakes of beef, um, some corned beef hash, some salad, onion tart, and um, waiting at our table is four beers, so, yeah, I think the waiter's getting to know us quite well. Oh, I am feeling good. Wonderful dinner was consumed. Um, just pop back to my room to grab a couple of things. Meet a big night down in the bar. Are we going to watch a bit more of the African Cup of Nations? Yeah, it should be a good evening. And tomorrow should be a good day as well. Although well, today was an awesome day, wasn't it? With the old quad bikeage. I always do that when I say quad bikes. Um, but yeah, tomorrow should be good. Going to go off to the... Um, Helps if you press the button. Uh, gonna go off to the shopping place in Medina, right, where it's all like old markets and stuff. Um, and I think, I think I'm gonna attempt the um, the challenge where I uh, I attempt to eat back my um, cost on the holiday for the day in all inclusive food. Uh, it's gonna be a good one. Uh, big night, right? I'm gonna get me an old beer roll um, and enjoy the football. Being big nights just got serenaded by Bruno on the reps, didn't we? That was a bit special. He's a legend though. He's um he's proficient in video editing as well, he was telling me earlier. So I'm gonna try and get him involved in helping me out and doing some editing on rubbish editing. So it'll help me and help him hopefully. Look at what we got going on here with the entertainment tonight, that guitar player. That's a bit special, isn't it? It's like a double guitar. Play it as well. Thanks, Mountain Guitar Solos. About half eleven, um, and we're venturing out into the town to try and get some food. Go this way, actually. Um, weird one, because we've been having all you can eat, you know, three massive meals a day. But I think it's drinking. I think it's drinking. It just gives you a hunger. So, yeah, let's explore. Like, here we go. Late night, Tunisia. It's actually quite pleasant walking the streets. It's really quiet. Not really anyone around. Um, haven't found any food yet, but very much enjoying the stroll. We have left off. Mission successful. Um, not just successful, an absolute bargain. So we've got a lovely chicken kebab uh, with chips, and it was the equivalent in English money of two pound twenty-five p. Amazing. And that bargain-based bombshell is where we will end this video. Um, a up from the future, by the way. Uh, basically, I've been editing the vlog up and it's already well over an hour long. So um, I'm going to break the Tunisia trip up into two different videos. So you've still got to look forward to the last few days of my trip. Um, the challenge where I try and attempt to eat back uh, how much I paid for the holiday in that day. 
Um, I did probably more drinking of it back than eating of it back, though, I must warn you. Um, which isn't to say I didn't eat, it's just that I really drank. Um, also, I uh, explore some of Tunisia, go out to the ancient shopping place, the Medina. Uh, Medina. Um, yeah, so there's loads to look forward to. Hopefully you did enjoy this video, though. If you did, please do leave a like. If you didn't, please do leave a dislike. Um, and just, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support after all these years uh, to be able to make videos like this. It's just amazing. And I'm having the best bloody time.